Hello everyone and welcome to the APNIC online training videos. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to advertise IPv6 prefix to the internet. Let's set up the objective of this video tutorial. In this video, I will show you a step-by-step -step process to advertise IPv6 addresses on the internet. Naturally, different companies use routers from different vendors, but to give you an idea of the configuration, we're going to cover this configuration syntax for Cisco, Juniper, and Huawei. We will add other vendor commands in later videos. After we show you the configuration, you will see how your prefix is visible in the global internet. Let's see the typical topology before we start the configuration. This diagram is for the network that we are configuring to advertise the IPv6 prefix, which is my network running as AS number 17821. This is the APNIC training AS number that's running in the training lab. There are router 1, router 2, and router 3. Router 1 is connected to upstream A, Router 2 is connected to upstream B, and Router 3 is connected to the Internet Exchange for peering. In this configuration, we will show you the configuration related to the transit from R1 and necessary configuration on R1. The other side, the upstream routers we assume, necessary configuration on RA are all done. When you set up the transit, what are the purposes of configuration? Number 1. We need to establish IPv6 BGP neighbor relationship from transit routers to our network. And number two, we advertise only our IPv6 prefix, the aggregated one that we got from registry, for example, from APNIC. Now we have a look at the configuration steps from step one to step five. In step one, we're going to discuss how you will configure the point-to-point -point interface that connects from your BGP router to your upstream's BGP router. Here we will only show you the IPv6 configuration. Step two, we need to build a policy filter which tells us what prefixes would be advertised to the internet. Then, at the third stage, we are going to configure the eBGB configuration with the upstream or with the peer. Step 4, we need to apply the filter we built in step 2 with the neighbor that we have configured in BGP. And lastly, in step 5, we're going to advertise our IPv6 prefix from the gateway to the internet. These are the five steps. Now we're going to see these five steps one by one. Let's have a look at step 1, which is the configuration of point-to-point -point link with upstream. In this diagram, we're going to configure the point-to-point -point link from R1 to RA. My AS number is 17821. My upstream A's AS number is 45192. I would like to tell you, the AS numbers and IPv6 prefixes which are used here are from the APNIC training lab. Let's see the IP addresses on R1's GE 1-3 interface. The IP address is 2001, DF2, EE01, 10 double colon 2 slash 126. On the other side, the upstream will use double colon 1 addresses in the same subnet. In most cases, these IP addresses are provided by the upstream ISV. When it comes to the configuration of the interfaces, upstream routers configuration would be done by the upstream ISPs. How to configure our interfaces. This is Cisco IOS CLI on the router. We get into the interface GE 1 slash 3. Put the IP address here, and then by typing and we get out of the configuration mode and WR save the configuration. After the configuration, we need to do the ping test to check the reachability. If you're using other platforms, maybe Juniper or Huawei, these are the commands. Now we move to step two. We are going to build a policy filter to secure our routing table. What is the policy filter? First, here is my prefix applied from registry. 2406 colon 6400 double colon slash 32. Normally we are advertising this aggregated prefix in the internet. How do you configure the policy filter? In Cisco CLI, we first create an IPv6 prefix list. The name, permit the address, and there is a default deny at the end. Then we create the route map. This is the name and the permit sequence. Inside the route map, we match the prefix list which we create at the beginning. This is how you configure the policy filter. I will show you the similar configuration you will do on Juniper and Huawei platform for your reference. In step 3, we will configure our eBGP peering with the upstream. In the BGP view, we put no BGP default IPv4 unit cast because we are going to configure the IPv6. We don't want IPv4 to be the default. We create the peer group and the remote AS number and then configure the peering IP of the remote router. The peering IP is a directly connected interface, and this is what is recommended. Then we put the description for this neighbor. We get into the IPv6 address family and activate this peer. Similarly, configuration can be done on Juniper and Huawei, and as a reference, as shown here. 
In step 4, before we advertise a prefix, we will apply the policy filter created in step 2. We don't want some unnecessary prefixes to be advertised incorrectly. This is how we can secure our announcement. Let's see the configuration in the BGP view. Get into the IPv6 address family. We apply the prefix filter at the outbound direction with the peer group. Similarly, configuration can be done on Juniper and Huawei, and as a reference, as shown here. Now we're going to advertise a prefix. We add a pull-up route first, because this aggregated route may not exist in the routing table. In the BGP view IPv6 address family, we advertise this route. The reference configuration for Juniper and Huawei is here. Now we are verifying the routing table. These are the commands for verifying the results. Here are the commands for Cisco IOS, Juniper Junos, and Huawei VRP. In this part, we will see the IXP configuration. In the diagram, R3 is connected to the Internet Exchange, and there is a route server. We need to do the similar five steps from R3 to the route server, similar configuration. My network is advertising our own prefix to the Internet Exchange and receiving the local prefixes from the Internet Exchange point. These are the five steps on how to advertise IPv6 prefixes. We have other tutorials showing you exactly how to configure these on the routers. Thank you for watching this video.